First, I want to thank the sponsor of this bill, Ms. Paulin, who's been fighting to repeal this discriminatory law. This bill that would repeal the archaic walking whilst trans law, a law passed in the late 70s, allowing officers to apprehend individuals, overwhelmingly women, on suspicion that they are loitering for the purpose of sex work. Transgender women, and particularly transgender women of color, are disproportionately targeted this way including women of color, cisgender, and immigrant women. In my community, Brooklyn, Flatbush, many individuals have been wrongfully profiled this way. And I wanna thank our trans advocate, especially T.S. Candy, who is from Flatbush, leader of a black trans nation for her work championing the repeal of this law. Vulnerable and marginalized groups that are at higher risk of sex trafficking and other forms of exploitation and abuse must not be targeted. In fact, police rarely arrest New Yorkers for this crime. Most law enforcement agencies have abandoned using this law and rely on other measures such, such as disorderly conduct charges to address disruptive individuals and of course prostitution charges for those who offer or solicit, promote paid sexual activity. But that doesn't mean that this law can't be abused particularly in instances where individuals are targeted, but not ultimately convicted under section 240.37. Countless transgender women, particularly again, women of color have been detained, harassed and falsely accused under this archaic law and allowing even a single person to suffer unjustly because of this outdated statute is unconscionable. In this year, 2021, there's no reason that people should still be profiled and police based on how they look or dress without any proof of wrongdoing or illegality. Repealing this archaic law will bring us one step closer to ending discrimination against trans women, tr women of color, but our, our work is far from over. Again, I wanna thank um, the sponsor, of this bill and all the advocates, the LGBTQ advocates and community as I continue to be an ally, to partner in the fight for the rights of the LGBTQ community and for the rights of all New Yorkers. I will be supporting this bill to repeal the law and I encourage all my colleagues to do so. Thank you.